is threatening more than a thousand homes and other buildings. Latest numbers from Cal Fire show the mosquito fire, as they're calling it, near Oxbow Reservoir has grown to nearly 6,000 acres, 0% containment. Evacuation orders are now in effect for both El Dorado and Placer County. There's also some evacuation warnings as well. Officials say the high temperatures are providing extreme burning conditions, allowing that fire to spread quickly. Rachel Wolf is live in Forest Hill now with the challenges those fire crews are facing this morning. Rachel. Good morning. Now that the sun is up, you can get a better idea of what they're facing. Take a look at the landscape here. You can see how the fire just rolled right up this ravine. There are still a few hot spots. You can see that some of the trees are burning. And if you look at the road here, this is fire retardant. That red stuff, that's the airdrops that were being made all day yesterday trying to fight the fire from the air. And then also we had hand crews on the ground. Now, if you look across the road here, we're at Michigan Bluff Road. See that right there? You still got these little hot spots. Overall, this area is contained, you can tell, but every now and then you'll have like a tree stump that's burning or just some vegetation underbrush. About a quarter mile up the road, there are inmate crews that are working. Everybody took a little break as we were arriving at about five o'clock this morning. But like you said, this fire exploding from a about 950 acres to 6,000. We have a press briefing at seven o'clock this morning with Cal Fire and also the uh, local agencies. We have crews from all over Northern California who are here fighting this fire. We've been moving around the hill. We're gonna go to another location in just a few minutes to bring you an update on what's going on in that area. All, all right. right, Rachel, thank you. <laughs> all right, it is 6.40 now, Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> Uh, let's get over to Tracy now on this first alert action day. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, let's take a look and see what's going on with that particular fire, the mosquito fire, which erupted, you know, as more than 5,000 acres. Afternoon highs today are unfortunately will not have firefighters. We got more opportunities for triple digit temperatures in today's forecast. 107 in Auburn, which is about 15 miles outside of that fire, the mosquito fire near Forest Hill. 109 in Jackson, 110 in San Andreas. And you get to the valley floor, and this is normally where we have the hottest temperature. 112 in Marysville, 111 in Sacramento, 112 in Elk Grove, 110 in Fairfield, 80 today coming in for San Francisco. Also, if we hit 111 in San Francisco and Sacramento, rather, that's going to be a new daytime record high temperature for today's day. So this is a pyrocumulus cloud associated with the mosquito fire. Again, more than 5,000 acres because it has erupted. So look at the smoke associated with it. Auburn this morning, you're going to wake into plenty of smoke outside. You're going to smell it. You're going to be able to see it. You got to limit your time outside today, as well as for Cameron Park and also into Plymouth. Now, as we start to move into around midday, we have more of an onshore breeze. So winds coming in out of the west is going to push all of that smoke into the Sierra South Lake Tahoe area. And then and as we move in later on in the overnight, you'll see winds coming in out of the east, and that's going to push it back to the west. The takeaway is it's going to be ebbing and flowing throughout the day today. And of course, wildfire smoke is pretty toxic. More seasonal temperatures are on tap for the weekend, though, once we get rid of this heat wave. And I think you're going to like it. Hey, Court. Hey, good morning. All right, let's get you caught up.